Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing about how to scrap data through APIs. So for this demonstration, I'll be using a website and I'll be scrapping um, some data. Um, I'll be using a browser uh, which has uh, Chrome developer tools. Either you can use Chrome or Firefox or Microsoft Edge. So any one of these brochures should work. All has uh, developer tools in it. Apart from that, I'll be using Postman also. So I'll be post. I'll be running a query which I get from the browser's developer tools. I'll be more changing some uh, uh, parameters, and uh, I'll be running the query, and which will give a JSON output. So I'll convert uh, the JSON output to a readable CSV output also, so that uh, it's much easier to read. So for this demonstration, I'll be using this website. So this website has various informations in it. So because of using this API, um, because since we are using APIs to generate the data, uh, to, to scrap the data, you will see a lot of additional informations so which you can discard it. Since you'll be getting in CSV format, it will be in separate, separate columns. So you can just uh, delete the unwanted columns. Um, so here I'll be uh, needing the employee, uh, sorry, I'm sorry, the company name, the, the location where it's uh, located and uh, the mobile number and some description about the company. So you can see that letters uh, uh, we have in this page, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 companies are listed in one page and there are a total of 11 pages over here. So here, um, if I click on 11 page, we can see that um, there are around 130 companies information which is available. So which we'll be using these tools to extract all the information at once. So let me go back to the first page and I'll open uh, Chrome Developer Tools. I'll reload this page. There are a lot of advertisements, other things, so uh, it takes extra few seconds to load the page. I guess it's done. So I'm looking for. Uh, I let me search for uh, XHR. Like type should be XHR. So. That means uh, some XHR formats will have JSON output. So I'll skip PNG, I'll sk skip the scripts and XHR. So there are a lot of files are a lot of uh, files are there. So as we go through it, we can see the one which we are looking for. Yeah. Uh, so this one. So all the company information on this page is mentioned over here. Like you see the company name. The person's name where they are located and uh, like their email address their phone number so you can see a lot of information so as i mentioned before since we are um, using apis to get the data so you will get additional information which don't which you don't see on the website which you don't see over here there are a lot of information which is available over here so what I'll do is I'll just um, copy this query. I'll just copy right click and I'll click on copy and then I'll click on copy as curl bash. So for whatever reasons, I am not sure uh, this doesn't work. Uh, whereas this works very well. Just for information, I'm using Windows based operating system. I'll um, Click on this and I'll copy all the request uh, thing and I'll open Postman. I'll go to home. Sorry, no need for home. I'll uh, click on this three lines menu and then I'll click on file and then I'll click on import and I'll click on raw text. I can the content over here and uh, I'll click on continue and then I'll click on import. So you can see the URL over here and few other parameters like params and headers and body so it has some information so you can see in params 
the size is set to 12 so that is the reason why you are seeing 12 uh, uh, 12 companies information only for in our case we need to display all 130 companies at once so i'll change it to 130 and i can run the query just for information in some website instead of parameters field this uh, limitation will be set in body so you can go to body and then you can see a lot of contents and then you can see the limitation set in body so you can change it accordingly some uh, like to cut short like for some website it will be it will be in body and for some website it will be in parameters so uh, now we have set it to 130 and the page is only uh, we are in the zeroth page so that means in one page itself all 130 data will be we will be getting 130 data, uh, 130 companies information. So let me run this query. So here you can see all the information for all 130 companies. So I'll just copy all the contents and I'll open a JSON to CSV converter. You can use any JSON to CSV converter, which is available on the internet. Um, so, if required, I'll also share the link to this uh, JSON to CSV converter in the description. You can use that uh, link also. So, I'll paste all the contents, uh, JSON contents, onto the first, uh, first field. And then uh, you can see all the uh, data in uh, table format. You can download a CSV and then you can open it on an Excel sheet also. Uh, Microsoft Excel also. For now, I'll be clicking on show all 130 rows. So it will display all the 130 rows over here. So here you can see the company names mentioned over here. The contact person name. The location where they are located. And as you scroll, you can see some more information. Such as the email address, the contact person details, the address, and the contact details. So, all the information is available over here. So, since it's in CSV format, you can just uh, delete the unwanted columns. So, all uh, 130 companies' information is available over here. So, this is how you scrap data from a website through APIs. I hope you found it useful. So, you can uh, Try it on various other websites and uh, if you come across anything, you can feel free to uh, mention the comment session. So hope uh, it was useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.